What's up? What's up? So, the Bible says in Jose 4, 6, and it says it at another point, but I don't know exactly what the scripture is, but it says, my people go into exile because they lack knowledge. Okay, basically, if you can read between the lines there, you realize that uh, people get themselves into problems because they just don't know any better. And I, I've said this in other videos um, that I've elaborated on, on other things, and I've went into some additional detail on this. But, folks, we're drinking too many calories, okay? And it's getting folks into problems. Some people just want to turn away from it, act like, oh, nope, 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 not going to be a problem. I'm going to keep up with my soda. I'm going to keep up with my, my milkshakes. I'm going to keep up with my sweet tea. It ain't that big a deal. It is that big a deal. And uh, I, I see so many adults that just, they don't have the energy and, and they, they just, they, they're beat down, they're tired, they don't feel good. They're letting the gut slack out. They ain't keeping their belly muscles engaged. They're hunched over. They're, they just don't have the energy to do the things that they would really like to be able to do. And they're making excuses to justify, uh, it's okay, it, it's just a soda, it's just a sweet tea. It, it's not just that. It's If your body takes in excess amounts of sugar, it's just going to store it in your system as, as fat. It's going to burn you out. It's going to cause you to be tired. And, and you are not going to be as an effective you as what you could and should and would be if you weren't drinking so many calories. Now, I know people like to have something a little bit sweet on the taste bud. So I highly recommend these bad boys right here. 10 calories. Okay, I look. I just got done looking at a, a bottle of sweet tea. Had 140 calories in it. 38 grams of sugar. A grown man is only supposed to take in 35 grams of sugar a day. A woman's supposed to have 25 grams of sugar a day. Okay, but when you're just... When, when you're drinking so many calories, your body's staying caught up with that. It's storing so much of it. It's giving so much attention to that. It's like, oh, excess fuel just in case. And it just keeps adding it to you, adding it to you, adding it to you. And that is not going to get you where you want to be long term. And so uh, you especially want to avoid the high fructose corn syrup. And the diet soda is no better. It's got aspartame in it. High fructose corn syrup, aspartame, those are two things that about 10 years ago I started avoiding like the plague. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I just feel so much better. There's a noticeable difference between um, myself and the average person physically in the things that, that I can do at almost 40 years of age. Um, and it's, it's because I avoid certain things and, and I, I've got the energy to, uh, to grind. I, I can go out and I could spend 10 hours in my garden working and, and not be just super sore the next day. I could go out and, and do about anything that I want to be able to do physically and I'm not going to be punished for it the next day. I went and did an hour and a half long pool workout the other night. It was awesome. Felt amazing the next day. I was tired, but uh, in in having the the right kinds of fuel in the system, then it allows you to be able to do the things that allow you to break your muscles down in an effective way, and then you just add to them, and it just life is just so much better. I just got done talking with the guys, forty five years old. I said, man, so many people are our age. They're just they just don't have the energy to embrace the grind anymore, and I, I hate seeing it. And I, I'm tired of it. Folks, there are people out there that are wanting you to be unhealthy so they can profit off of your pain and misery. And then they don't want you to be able to engage with your kids. And they want to get your kids caught up in the same cycle. Don't let them do that to you. Live life on your terms. But you've got to make certain choices now that are going to get you where you want to be tomorrow. And... Um, you can do it. You can bring yourself out of exile with knowledge. Knowledge is power. Sometimes knowledge is a burden. They say ignorance is bliss. I say knowledge is a burden. Okay, but it doesn't have to be a burden. It just calls you to action. Okay, and so that's what I'm what I'm, I'm calling you to do is to be more consciously aware of what you're putting in your system. Stop drinking calories. It's a waste, especially if you like food. You can get more of the good stuff. Okay, if you'll avoid the empty calories that you would be drinking. And then I got a new shirt, uh, infowars.com, save the frogs. Okay, the frogs are at risk. They, there's major problems with the frogs and the atrazine, and, and more people need to become aware of what it means to save the frogs. And you can go to InfoWars, you can get this shirt for $17.76, and you can support 
uh, a group of people who are, are, are working for us. So I hope you found that information to be beneficial and uh, have a great day. God bless.